A sparrower is a gravitational wave detector. It's a, a cryogenic detector cooled to very low temperature. It is a, a long cylinder, three meters long of aluminum, and it uh, works like an harmonic oscillator. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time, and when hitting this uh, harmonic os oscillator, it is like if a hammer hits a diapason. So the explorer bar, the cylinder, starts ringing, and this is the sign of the arrival of gravitational waves. Uh, gravitational waves were uh, being predicted by Albert Einstein almost uh, 100 years ago, but have uh, never been detected so far. Explorer was the first detector, the first cryogenic detector to um, perform long uh, observations of the universe and of the galaxy in search for a burst of gravitational waves due to acceleration of uh, uh, big masses. Uh, supernova explosions, uh, uh, matter falling in black holes, uh, black holes collision, um, coalescence of neutron stars, those are the main uh, gravitational wave sources. Well, Explorer was installed at CERN and has operated for uh, more than 20 years uh, uh, looking for the sky, uh, mainly because CERN was the only place in Europe where a big cryogenic detector could be installed. And it was the first detector to uh, operate with uh, a sensor based on superconductivity and uh, uh, with a reduction of the noise uh, based on superfluidity of uh, liquid helium. Uh, Explorer is uh, uh, going to be transported to Kashina in the European Gravitational Observatory site uh, where a new museum will be open and Explorer will be the main attraction.